Most of us have experienced or heard other people's tales of the evil house guests. Well, with so many of us traveling to visit friends and relatives this time of year, it's great to brush up on your guest etiquette so that you don't end up being someone else's cautionary tale. And as we always do when it comes to these matters, we turn to Gentleman John Holt. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Thanks for having me back. Oh, it's Thank great you. to see you. It's been a long nice time. Nice to see you as well. So we've got your top five tips here and for being a good house guest. This generated a lot of conversation in our staff I'm meeting. sure it did. I'm so sure it did. Everyone has a story. Yeah. Well, number one, you have to arrive with a gift. Mm. That's the first thing. And it can be something small like a bottle of wine or some cookies you made or jam. In fact, someone brought me once just a little planter full of a couple of herbs, nice. which is just great. Just a small gift. Okay. So, so that's starting sort of starts, off on the right starts foot. Starts on the right foot. Yeah. Okay. The other thing is you have to plan your stay and stay your plan. Mm. In other words, if you're going for five days, you go for five days. If you go for two days, you go for two days, right? And yeah. you have to stick with that. You can't suddenly say, oh, I think I'll stay another week. Right. It doesn't happen, yeah. Don't overstay your welcome. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you also have to give your host your agenda. So if on Saturday night you have a big high school reunion, you have to declare that before you go so they know that on Saturday night they have a free night and you're Absolutely. busy. Yeah, set out those expectations so Absolutely. that you know when you're spending time with the person who's hosting you or you're on your own time. Correct. Okay, yes. I like that. Yeah, plan yeah, your yeah. stay, stay your plan. Uh, keep tidy. This is important. You've got to keep tidy and you know, you have to make your own bed. I hate making my bed. At home I don't do it. I hate it. Mm -hmm. But when you're staying at someone else's house, you've got to make your bed. Yes. Yeah. Keep that room tidy. And the clothing explosion too. That shouldn't happen. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I've got to keep things tidy. And you've got to watch the flow of the house, how things work. Because you're in someone's psychological, personal territory. Mm -hmm. You have to really be careful. And I don't know if you, the famous Ben Franklin quote about uh, house guests like fish get smelly after three days. Oh, I haven't so, heard that. So it's kind of a funny thing. I mean, luckily, our houses have grown in the 250 years since he said that, so it's a little more comfortable. And we have refrigeration, so it's a little more comfortable. But really, three days is a great time to plan to stay. Okay, three days, that's the magical number. It's a magical number, yes. Unless you're super close friends, you've declared your agenda, as I said, and you can, ex you can extend that as long as you, you start with that plan. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. And, and yeah, contain yeah. the mess and keep things right. tidy. Okay, and what, what about in terms of how you treat the host, the person who's hosting well, you? Well, I, I always think you treat them with a the treat. So in other words, you can take them out for dinner one of the nights, or you can, you can offer to buy groceries and, and make a special meal for them, or maybe you take them out to the theater. Do something that they wouldn't normally do, mm -hmm. just as a special little thank you through the time you're staying there. Okay. So and again, that can be declared. Even before you go, you can say, you know, you're busy on Sunday night, why don't I make dinner? Get a, get a great bottle of wine, get yeah. some nice food, and cook up something. So, so you're constantly gifting the host. <laughs> well, they're giving you a pretty good gift, too, right? Absolutely. And, if you, and especially in Calgary, and especially during stampede time, if you oh, add yeah. up the, the dollars that would cost you to stay in a hotel, they're treating you very well. Okay, yes, fantastic, for <laughs> sure. And, I mean, those dollars should be, you know, spent towards sure. a gift of some sure, kind or, or some an of, experience, some which is something be. that you're sharing for your trip, That's too. Right. Okay, now what about the thank you notes? This is always an interesting Well, territory. anyone who's been watching your program knows that uh, thank you notes are so important still, and handwritten thank you notes. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be long. They can be just two or three sentences, but handwritten posted thank you notes are by far the best. I know you're a big advocate of that. So I you am. would buy a card and you would leave it there? Absolutely. Or you can leave it there, which is great, mm -hmm. or you can mail it. And uh, just, it, it, it's literally a thousand times better than an email. People still mail notes. They do, they do. And that's yeah. really the difference. That's what sets you apart from all the rest, and the text and the Facebook, and that's sort of something we would do absolutely. for yeah. anybody. Yes, absolutely. All right, great yeah. tips. Send a thank you note. Just that <laughs> little bit of extra effort makes a difference. Well, thank you so much. Thank you And for happy me, summer to you. Thank it you. is great to see you, as always. Gentleman thank you so much. John Holt with his top five tips on being a great house guest.